five ways black folks mess up black businesses. And lastly, I think we're going to have Michael Collier on the show. I yes, think. Totally. Right. Yeah, so you're yeah. watching Antonio Parkinson Project. We'll be right back. To the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. I got my lovely co host Angelica Jelly Woods in the building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She is lovely. She's been hungry. That's what we yeah. do. Mm. DJ Kojak in the building. DJ Kojak, scratch it up for a time. Man. We got a special bam, guest. Bam, bam. Hey, Michael, right. you did hear that scratch, did you? I heard the scratch. It was very loud. Michael Collier in the <laughs> building. <laughs> 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 I think he's scratching in my day. Hey, Mike, we've been, we've been asking this question. And first of all, thank you for being here. You're thank y'all for thank having you, me. Man. Thank you, thank Ignore you. Ignore the chicken. Thank you. <laughs> look, the chicken is in the back. Right. Right, he's been choking that chicken ever since I met him, right? Yeah, look, not look. to pull a choke another <laughs> fella's chicken. <laughs> Mike, we've been asking this question, man. Five things that black folks do to mess up black businesses. Man, give me one. Uh-uh. Uh, show up. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, be late. Be first late. of all, yeah. you know, yeah. don't make me go into the late store. Yeah. Uh, be late. <laughs> Black people love late. Black people come. <laughs> they get up like fifteen minutes early so they can get to work. 10 minutes late. That's their shit. Right, right, we right. We love the white man can take everything from the black man, but you can't have late. Can't we, own, right. we, we own that shit. Right. We own late. So that's right. one of the things. Yeah. Um, I have the wrong attitude yeah. at work. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you don't want to be there. You just mm -hmm. oh, my man. man. It's yeah. the worst customer service. It's the worst shit in the world. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's man. hard. It's like don't nobody want to work. Right. No. Anymore. They play like they young folks that show up, mm -hmm. they just show up for a check. Yeah. You could hire a teenager to sleep. Yeah. And that motherfucker will wake up and go home. He'll quit. He'll wake up and quit. I quit this shit. Man. I slept too hard. Um Stay tired. Uh I would say. Oh not God. actually doing the work up to standard. Yeah. If you yeah. know what the thing is you claim you're going to do, you have to do it with excellence. So don't mm. do it at all, because mm -hmm. that that's one way you lose the business. And let me see, that was three. How was that? Three or four? That was that was, four. You can keep going. Yeah. That, that was, was you, four. You can do whatever you want to do. Four is if you uh, don't come to work butt naked with an attitude. Uh -uh. <laughs> you just leave the attitude at home. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's feel. What else? Yeah. What, what y'all? I mean, you you got. We've been saying the same thing, you know. But but we also talk about the business itself, you What's know, that? and and the customer that come up. Right? Do we hold black businesses to a higher standard than we do the white businesses? Mm -hmm. I think we often do. Yeah. Is yeah, it warranted? They get a white man chance again and again and again. Right. The brother mess up one time, you ain't never. Right, going there again. We we no, tell everybody you no know, don't go man. either. Send the yeah. reviews and mm -hmm. it's and terrible. Everything. We should stop yeah. that though. We we should. Michael, but Collier. like another thing, we don't talk to each other. Well, yeah. Remember, black people used yeah. to speak. Yeah, when they walk past yeah. each other, especially yeah. if you walk yeah. past your elder on the yeah. street, you wouldn't speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you better not say that. Yeah. You better not say shit. Who are you talking to? Man, we, right, right. You, they don't touch. We don't touch anymore. You yeah. can dance, but don't touch me. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, so <laughs> so it those okay, so welcome to the show. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 now now <laughs> you know, because I know you first of all, Michael Collier is at Chuckles yeah. tonight. Come on, somebody. Tonight, Saturday night. I mean, yeah, Saturday all right, night, two shows tonight, Sunday. two Saturday, one Sunday, a five opportunity to miss me. Bring your mom and them. Yeah. Bring your mom and them. Five opportunities to miss me. Mm -hmm. So look, look, black folks, don't, 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 don't cause the black business not to thrive because you don't show up. Yeah, that showing up is important. Matter of fact, in life, yeah, ninety percent of success is showing up, bro. Yeah, they showing up. You'll figure out the other ten percent, but just get there. You'll be shocked how many people can't get there. Right, right you know, right. as you know, and that's time, where the blessings are, right? Well, the blessings when are you being show up. on time, and also it's about details. Yes, sir. It's about paying attention to details. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. want to, the little things to slip through and mess up everything. So yeah. you just want to pay attention yeah. to stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike, Michael, Mr. Brother Collier, take us from the beginning. You know, where it started for First, you. First, there was God. God. In the beginning, it was God. there was light. Right. right. <laughs> and there was the word. Right, right. Then they created them niggas and they <laughs> tore everything else up. That sounded about right. <laughs> You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project.
<laughs> uh, so from where we talking about my, my yeah, little, what yeah, I do? Yeah. I do comedy. Uh, I'm an actor, motivational speaker, uh, a children's book author, um, and a barbecueologist. And essentially, oh, hold on, I'm man. from Chicago. Oh, you don't know about no Memphis, barbecue. Yeah, yeah. You're in Memphis, bro. Ooh, you're I in don't Memphis, know about bro. Memphis barbecue. Uh, I love me some man. Memphis. We, we defend barbecue but I, now. Yeah, yeah, but y'all messed it up too when y'all oh. put that damn yellow barbecue sauce. That's, not no us. That's North Carolina. Oh. That's North Carolina. That's not us. I went to. Don't y'all have Germantown here? That's that's, 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 oh, that's, that's touristy that's, shit. That's, 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 that's where you went wrong. They, they, they put vinegar in. No, that's where you messed up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then we in good shape. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bring that up. Bring that up. Yeah. You know where the bad customer service is. Yeah. But the barbecue sauce is delicious. Yes. The service is terrible. Right. Right. You might not get it till tomorrow, and they're gonna cuss at your ass. But when you get it, when you get it. Gonna be delicious. Wow. Come on, somebody. Right, somebody right. have me some bread so I can wow. <laughs> Uh, so let me see. I started the comedian actor in Chicago uh, about a thousand years ago. And then uh, in 86, I started doing street performance yeah. in Chicago. And I was pretty damn good. And then winter came. And wasn't nobody trying to hear no jokes in mm -hmm. December on State Street. <laughs> so I packed up everything that would fit in my car at the time. I had a 1967 Buick Sabre. And I sold everything else. And I drove to California where I thought it was warm all year round. All right. Now I get yeah. cold there too. I get right. cold there. But I went there to do comedy. I Found Venice Beach, where I ended up doing comedy right. for nine years. Uh, from 1986 to 95, I did five one hour shows every Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> I know you were tired, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken. Right. And, uh, and so I would do those shows. I tell jokes, I pass my hat. And, uh, you know, it was a great nine year run, man. That's In that amazing. period of time, did a lot of movies, sitcoms, uh, and a lot of comedy shows. Uh, and we did Def Jams. I was on the very first Def Jam. Mm -hmm. Bernie Mac got me on oh, that. Wow. Thank wow. you for Bernie, yeah. Yeah. Bernie yeah. Mac made yeah. us. Oh, Bernie Mac is a hell of a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bernie Mac is a black man. Mm -hmm. Black men mm -hmm. are rare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Niggas. Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Now you Niggas everywhere. Something. You can open the glove something. compartment of your car and four niggas will fall out. But <laughs> black men who have integrity <laughs> for their yeah. family, for their God, for their community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very rare indeed. You know, yeah. Bernie Mac was that guy. Bernie man. Mac was a real man. And so he got me on Def Jam, and then I co-created Comic View. Actually, mm. I, came, I brought the idea. Well, I didn't know that. Co-created Comic View. They don't want nobody to yeah. know that. So anyway, uh, but oh. wait, but I ain't mad at Comic View because Bob Johnson created BT is mm -hmm. my friend. So I ain't trying to say nothing out of right. school, but he will tell you, him and uh. Jeff Lee will tell you, I brought the idea for really? Comic View. But anyway, we just do comedy. I do comedy, and uh, I got the fitness. I did real good. I started doing films and television, and next thing you know, just, you know, these big shows like Def Jam and stuff let the whole world see you. Mm -hmm. So that opened doors so I could work a bunch of other places. But essentially, I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. But I do comedy because they pay you right now. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. acting, shit, you can starve to death. You, yeah. It's feast or famine. 70% of actors have to have a second job yeah. to even make it, you know. But with comedy, shoo, between comedy and acting, I'm working all the time. And so we're going back to Venice Beach, mm -hmm. uh, where I started, which is my legacy. Mm -hmm. And we're going May 17th. We're okay. doing a one hour and a half concert called The King of Venice Beach. I'm going to build a stage looks like a king's crown. Yeah. I'm going to stand in the middle of it do an hour and a half. And whatever happened, happened. We ain't stopping Ooh. no cameras. Right. It's outside. Somebody pulls something. I'm going to tear their ass up. And we're going <laughs> right, to keep right. on filming it. <laughs> it's going to be excellent. It'll also be able to help a lot of homeless people. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That day, we're giving out these bags for homeless people. One 1,986 oh, bags wow. to commemorate mm -hmm. the year I started. And if there's not enough people on Venice Beach as homeless, then we're going downtown. Mm -hmm. And we'll give the people, they all, they mm -hmm. laying on the ground, air yes, Another 100,000 people on the ground mm -hmm. outside, in which yeah. I can never wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around the idea that a world that's full of food mm -hmm. has so many hungry people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's because a handful of people yeah. are manipulating it so yeah. they can keep all the money mm -hmm. and yeah. they don't give a damn if you starve to death or not, but please pay before you die. Right. Okay. You know, so you're uh, taking it back to your roots, though. You're taking it back to your beginnings, right? Well, my beginnings as far as yeah. what? Comedy. Yeah. But comedy, my beginnings yeah, yeah. are still Chicago. Chicago, right. You know? Right. But, but they, Venice has been, and L.A. has been my home forever. Yeah. You know, I only lived in... Uh, Chicago till I was 28. I'm 67 uh -huh. now. Right. So the rest of the time I spent in L.A. and around right. the world, you know, yeah. but nowhere's like L.A. Yeah. L.A. to me is the greatest city in the whole wide world. I've been every place, Barcelona, uh, yeah. Vatican. Every, you could do anything you want in L.A. Yeah. Mm. If you can't do what you want to do mm -hmm. in L.A., Fuck it. Give it up. Yeah, you you it can't up. do it. Read some other <laughs> shit. Uh, the climate, the attitude, everything. <laughs> so I went there and started working. And so now 
you know, I'm, I'm starting to find myself because when I went to Venice Beach, I went out there to be a millionaire. But when mm -hmm. I got out there, I realized the world wasn't about me. It's about me finding my brother. And until I find you, I haven't found myself. But once I embrace oh, you, oh. then I'm back home. So instead mm -hmm. of trying to be a millionaire, I'm attempting to be a billionaire of being. I want to mm -hmm. be the greatest human being I can be. So instead of trying to make a living, I live my making. And my mm -hmm. making shall make my living. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. So Come I'm on, just man. trying to unfold into my greatest self. I'm trying to get closer and closer mm -hmm. to God. You know, mm -hmm. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior just yeah. 29 days ago. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I've always been a man of God. Mm -hmm. But to be able to enunciate it and to speak directly to God like that, I mean, we ain't, we ain't just dating. You know, mm -hmm. we, we have a relationship. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. This, is, yeah. this is real for yeah. me. And my life was already... All the way perfect, and mm. then my queen walked in yes. right. nineteen oh, wow. months ago. Before you, before yeah. you get to your queen, I, 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 if you don't mind, if you don't mind, don't, before you get to your queen, because uh -huh. I know we're gonna we're gonna go we to your can't queen. Meet my queen. We're gonna go to your queen. Yeah, hello. But, but, I, I, but, but yeah, but, but look, I don't want you to walk past. I don't want okay. you to walk past. You know where, where you know twenty nine days ago. Yeah. Right, you said twenty nine. Oh, it's pretty yeah. magical. It's yeah, yeah, story, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how did you get there? Um, well, I woke up at four thirty a.m. at my home in California. And, it's, you know, I've always been a man of God, you know, um, but I'm not as keen as defining him as so many people are. Right, uh -huh. So I study everything, the Yishin, the Talmud, the Quran, uh, the Bible, um, all, all forms of, of higher modalities, of mm -hmm. ideologies, of spirituality. Mm -hmm. um, I just think there's a million different paths to the one. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, there's just one God, right, one yeah. indwelling spirit mm -hmm. that loves us all unconditionally. But anyway, I, I don't I know that. When I've been in trouble or frightened, I've never screamed out, oh, Allah saved me. Mm -hmm. You know, I never said, Buddha saved me. Mm -hmm. And I've read all of their things as well. But I, every time I'm in trouble, I scream, Jesus saved right. me. Exactly. And every single sol solitary time he has. Mm -hmm. You know, in fact, uh, Jesus has saved my crooked and our ass more times. The <laughs> man camps got pork and beans. So when I woke up 4.30, I felt it. I didn't mm -hmm. think about it. It wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't a conscious thing. Mm -hmm. It was to the essence of who I am. Yeah. And I said to God, did I accept you? Uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I'd never said those words before. And so I was wow. I felt different. Yeah. Felt kind of different. So I called my wife at our home down in Winston Salem where she owns the number one soul food restaurant yeah, yeah. named after her. Send so a shout Sonya. out to her. Hey Sonia, you know I love you. Yeah, right, right. Ooh, we right, should be here right, tomorrow. Right, right. I'm gonna do something to her. Yeah. 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 She is the very best. Yeah. She changed everything in my life, changed my DNA. Yeah. Um the physical, spiritual, and the intellectual. DNA of me has changed. I'm not even the same person. I can walk on water and fly through the air now because of her. Ooh, now that's, yeah. No that's fear. A man, that's she warm. Changed your life. Warm. She changed oh, I know it mm -hmm. yeah. Now I'm manifesting right. like crazy. I can think I want something. Somebody knock on the door It'll and give it to me because right. I have up. completely aligned myself with color. this goddess, this queen, this this woman is air thing. She gives my heart something extra to throb about. That's so cool. that's the, the great Sonia. Yeah, Sonia. Yeah. What's the age difference? Because we was talking about Aoki Simmons and 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 her with the old. And our man with, with the 60 Yeah, right, right, old. right. What's the age difference with, with you and Sonia? Uh, it's about 12 year difference. About She's 12 years difference. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but I'm still right. bucking like a teenager. <laughs> uh, Damn. My wife, my wife says that means hard and out of control, but that's not what I mean. Uh, but yeah, she's amazing in every possible way. She's sweet. She's funny. She's smart. And you know, this is the first woman I've ever had that's got all her own shit. Okay. Yeah. She her own money, her own again? car, her own home, uh, her right. own business. So she's with me because she want to be with me. Right. You know, I don't think I've been with one woman that I haven't taken care of, care of mostly completely. Mm -hmm. But to have someone who have all their own stuff, yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's damn good, know? bro. And, well, the, um, the constant messages of who you're connected to matters. I always tell people mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. Who exactly. you're connected she to tells matters. me that all. It means everything. They don't listen to me, so maybe they'll listen to you. Well, mm -hmm. it also determines who you are. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. who you hanging out with determine. Mm -hmm. Do you, you think you have, you have kids with Sherman who you are too? I would certainly hope okay. so. Okay, okay. I'm that, that, um, now we're going to go down I the rabbit hole. I would hope that y'all not. Look, uh, Coach just scratched his beard. Not, okay, I, I went left. Sorry, Parkinson. I went yeah, left. I hope you ain't let nobody okay. stick it in you that you're not they close do, enough they to, do, to they know their the business. They but that's happening time. more, more happen times time. than not, though. Right. Yeah, they do it it happens time. more times they than do. not, though. Am they I do. correct? Mm. They yeah. be yeah. high yeah. to creep. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Yeah, so life, mm. you know, really is here for us mm -hmm. to live and to love. And we woke up, man.
Man, we already had won. A second chance. You know how many people went to yeah. sleep last night who had plans for this afternoon? Yeah. We ain't here no more. Yeah. Man. So every breath that we take is, is yeah. a blessing. And then I have yeah. friends dying, younger than me, just dropping yeah. dead. Someone for medical reasons, some mm -hmm. for no reason at all. Yeah. Just die. That's the thing about death. It's always a surprise. Yeah. You yeah, see right. that shit coming. Right. So, <laughs> so I would I would urge people to live your life fully, man. Mm -hmm. Live it full out. Find out what you love. Find out what you are. And do it and be it. Yeah, man. And when you do that, you're gonna be happier. Mm -hmm. And in in the scheme of things, you talk mm -hmm. about eternity. Human life is quick. It is. You get seventy between seventy and hundred if you're lucky. Right. In you Chicago, if you make it to eighteen, you're doing good. You Here know. Too. Mm -hmm. So so it's so it's precious, and we should treat it such. That's why I wasn't coming up in this building. Mm -hmm. When I got closer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't start look no shit now. Don't start no shit now. Look look like 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 that. That. Dungeon ain't look, no look, windows. Hey, I'm hey, like, hey, you in the capital of this Memphis? This kind of right? place yeah. I would have. I want to kidnap and torture. <laughs> I would have them down hey, the basement. Harris, yeah. same thing. Beverly Harris, yeah, he somebody help guy. me, please. He like All right. Guy. He came to break out of here if you're in trouble. Oh, no, no, blood in, blood out, fight, Because you cornered hey, up hey, in here. Blood in, blood out, baby. That's blood in, blood, blood out. Oh, but, my God. But, but to be in a room with so many wonderful people is a beautiful thing indeed. Man, you know, I've, you I've know? spent two, two, three hours with you now. Yeah. And, man, and I, you notice I, I was real quiet at lunch today, right? You were. I was because I just you wanted were. to sit back and listen. You should have been blocking all yeah. them damn people. Hey, man, hey, 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 they love you. They eat. love you, man. Oh, every they love you. This girl is. I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk. That's annoying. It, it now, could well, really it be. be. It could be if you're yeah. trying to do something. You're trying yeah. to eat. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you ain't trying to do something, I, I try to indulge everyone. Yeah. You know, the fans are the reason that we're here. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the reason that I can live like I live, and I yeah. live pretty nicely. And yeah. I'm not wealthy or even rich, yeah. except in spirit and soul and heart, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I live pretty comfortably. Yeah. Um, but they love no you, complaints. They love you. Well, it's important yeah. that I love yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what's really yeah. important. Yeah. If they love me, that's a bonus. Yeah. It's very nice. But it was a different, it was but, warm. But though. if you it, don't yeah. love you, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. other shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, you're right other right. people yeah. saying yeah. they love you don't mean nothing. The yeah. most of them are, yeah. are pretending. Yeah. A lot of people aren't even proud for you. They just surprise your ass still here. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. as yeah. you yeah. become yeah. a little older, you want to close that circle of friends. Mm -hmm. And so you have mm -hmm. real friends. A handful of real friends mm -hmm. is better than a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah. Let me just put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you could surround yourself, you know, seven to ten people mm -hmm. max. Don't let nobody else in the yeah. circle. You be kind to everybody. Right. But don't let them in things that you trust and things you believe in. Because yeah. a lot of people are mad at you just because you're you. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, a lot of people are like, who the fuck right. do you, you think, think you, you are, are yeah. to be somebody mm -hmm. when I ain't shit? Right. You know, and then think like that, right? They say you know? that right now yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. Who they think they yeah. are, my God. You're authority. You're authority on nothing but right. crack, which I am. Right. But that's not what's which important. I am. I am right. But Michael, give me, give me, give me, give me one of the give me one of the most important life lessons in your 67 years. Don't smoke crack. Oh, oh there you go. Hey, there there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crack and whack. Uh, yeah, I would. I, if, for young people who haven't started yet, don't indulge in drugs of any kind. Mm -hmm. You know, I, although I don't consider weed drugs. Right. It's, it's medical, it's medicinal, it's healing. But no drugs. I mean, I don't care. If, if somebody said to your friend, they try to get you to do a chemical drug, they're not your friend yeah. for real. Yeah. Mm. They're not mm -hmm. their friend. They, they're yeah. in danger and they're in trouble. Yeah. And they want somebody to go along with, yeah. with yeah. their bullshit. Yeah. Don't do it, man. You know, I remember one day I had this piece of glass and I said, I wonder what happened. It was hot glass. I wonder what happened if I dropped this rock on there. You know, yeah. 23 years later, I was trying to come up out that addiction. So I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. you only going to do it because you only hit that rock once and then after that, it hits you. Yeah. You smoke wow. it one time, then it smokes you. You spend the rest Damn. of your life trying wow. to find that one hit. And I found that one hit. Her name is Sonia. She's a one hitter. Sonia, right, right, right. Sonia make that salmon, though, right? Mm, that salmon yeah, croquette. She's yeah. a beast. Been screaming about that salmon croquette. <laughs> <laughs> my chicken is glad. That's a different emotion from the chicken. Yeah. Right, right, right. So you yeah, have tone every time. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I mean, it's just like we should just open our eyes. People we like yeah. to use the word woke, but now people want to be mad because you use the word woke. Mm -hmm. People find stuff to get mad about every day. Yeah. People want to be trying to. Cancel people. Can't nobody cancel nobody. Mm -hmm. uh, you can quit, but can't nobody cancel you. Somebody can cancel you. That means you've given them power. Come on. Over you. you pe mm -hmm. People can't take your power. You mm -hmm. you only give them that shit. Thank so they, I mean, people could tell you no. 
Yeah. But that don't mean you can't do it. That doesn't yeah. mean you can't do it with they bitch ass. Yeah. Just go on over there. Right, right. Somebody right down the street doing the same shit. Yeah. Just go on over there. You know, but right. but people try to hypnotize you, mesmerize you, and think that their shit is the only shit. Yeah. No yeah. one is the only shit. There's yeah. too many avenues. There's too many ways, mm -hmm. you know, to get to what you want. And see, the universe is always conspiring for your good. Mm -hmm. It's on. always trying to figure out ways to help you get what you want. But our job is to set our intentions. I don't need joy to be again for forgiveness or anything else. Well, right. forgive you for what? Yeah, what right. do you think you could possibly do that the Lord didn't know you was going to do a mm -hmm. thousand years before he created you? Forgive him. For, he's already all dead on the forgive You was forgiven for you even did that corny shit. Because he, <laughs> he knew it was coming. <laughs> right. He saw that coming. He come goofy. Let me right. try to get him out of it alive. Right. If we can do that, right. that'll be good. Right. You know, right. I remember once I was going to buy some crack. And it was like three in the morning. I went to dark back street in the neighborhood. It was really dark. Mm. And everybody was you know, lurking mm. behind trees and shadowy buildings and right. shit. It was all dark. Mm. So I walk up to this brother. I I dealt I'd gotten packages from him before. And I walked up and he went in his pocket to get the dope. I thought he was going to get a gun. So I played like I had a gun and this motherfucker. Had a gun for real. Uh -oh. Surprise! <laughs> no, no, no. Man, what the fuck you doing? I said, oh, dude, I was just, you know, I was just scared, man. He said, motherfucker, get your bitch ass out of here. <laughs> so I ended up leaving. I didn't get the dope. It's a terrible You wasn't even built terrible for it. Night. You wasn't even built for it. You know, uh, I wasn't built for it. You wasn't built for it. I wasn't right, built right. for it. Michael, let me ask you this. Grab a bag with a roll up. Grab your cup and let pull up. They didn't want us round at first, but now they act like they know what. Hey, but they show love, yeah, we show out when we show up I don't even do the lift of this might make me throw up But we talk up, this the after party Shit, grabbing on my body White girl, got a bottle in the club And that going knowledge Talk up, finna wreck the party We just brought out everybody No, we got our glass so far We at the after party Hey, this is Memphis Mayor Paul Young And you are watching the Antonio Parkinson Project You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project Let me ask you this. So mm -hmm. this, 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 I don't know if it's newfound, you know, and, and you know, but this, 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 all, all the comedians are gangster now. I don't know anything about it. All right, right, right. Okay, okay. Cause you know, you got, you got people bashing with each other, this and, you know, just has it always been, I'm not in the comedic world and neither are they, but has it always been, you know, this, this tough with, with, you know, you got, you know, folks speaking on this person. Is I, I've never like, even seen nothing like this. It's a whole mm. new climate, uh -huh. you know, of people. I, I, I call it rich people problems. Okay. You know, you have millionaires on the air complaining about other millionaires. Pardon. I don't even need to be a millionaire. If I could just be a hundred thousand air, mm -hmm. I'm going to be out shopping and shit. I ain't got no time to sit around complaining about other people. Plus, <laughs> The way God treats me, you can't beat a complaint out of me. Mm -hmm. You can't do it because mm -hmm. that's, I'm too busy saying thank you. Right, right. I'm, I'm, and God just, I don't know what it is, but before I could finish thanking God for one thing, mm -hmm. he give me something else. God is so good to me. Sometimes I don't think he realizes me. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't say nothing. Right, right. Don't, don't say nothing. Don't fuck it up. Don't say nothing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I, I'm just very, very blessed. Mm -hmm. I have a great queen who's everything. She's everything. Mm. And I, I can't even talk to her without lowering my voice. Yeah. I can't talk to her about her without talking softly. I don't mm. even talk loud when I talk about her. She's just a bad motherfucker. And, mm. and, and she fucks me so good. Let me tell you something. Mm. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. good. She uh -huh. makes me miss my young dick. Damn. <laughs> remember the young dick? No, remember the young dick? You so The young dick right, right, was right, in right. the neighborhood. Right, right. Now my shit be like, yo, yo, I fucks with you, but uh, I'm gonna need a nap. You know, right. the whole, it's a whole different thing. She's just right. amazing oh, in every yeah. way, and yeah. she's creative, yeah. and she's yeah. driven. And you know, I know I was in love with her like the first month that we're together because mm -hmm. I called everybody who thought they was fucking with me. Right. So don't call me no more. Cut them you off. Gone, let loose that number. You don't need none of them. No, throw that shit out. Cause don't call here. I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm Right. Yeah. You know, and right. she's just a magical, magical person. Yeah. My life was yeah. already pretty good, but yeah. it's beyond excellent. I have yeah. achieved a level of joy that I did not know was attainable. 
That's you excellent. Know? That's incredible. And, uh, Give him a round of applause for that. Oh, oh, man. Man. Get God. Yeah, yeah. Get God a round of applause. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let Michael have that shit. But, but look, well, my, I know married? Where, I, I, yeah. I've been, but you know. But you know, me and her been married twice. We already right. had to practice. Right. I've been there two times too. Yeah, so, we got yeah, married. Yeah, we got yeah. divorced. We, we didn't think we were doing it again. We wouldn't think I wouldn't even get in no more relationships after that. And that's when it happens, right? I said, man, I don't be fucking, but I ain't getting no relationship. Right. And then the right person walked up. But like I said before, I didn't find her until I stopped looking. Right. But right. you know what, man? As yeah. good as you talk about Sonya, man, we all love Sonya. So, I man, you're going to have to beat us all off with sticks. I know my family you, said that. Because your, your time Wait, is short. I got to so. tell you, I uh, took her ahead. home and my family said, look, even if this don't work out with y'all, we keeping her. Right, right. right. Oh, that's, that's, question, sir. that's good. Yeah, you know, because I know you, you you got a show that you got coming up here at Chuckles in a few in a little bit today. And so and so I want to I want to make sure you get an opportunity to talk about your books, man, and talk I about your other creative book. side. It's a Both lot of, of them, man. stuff, y'all. You got a lot going on, man. You know, I need so, an hour for the full. Interview. Right, right, we right. right. You make sure you send us them links. We gonna, we gonna put them links up too. I want to get. <laughs> so, right. all right, let's start with Venice. So, Venice Beach, as you know, I did Venice Beach for uh, nine years. So, now we're going to commemorate it with a one hour concert called The King of Venice Beach. But we still need help. We're still about 18,000 short. That's not going to stop me from finishing. Right. I'm scared. I never mm -hmm. let fear stop me. Mm -hmm. I, I make it, I let it teach me. Okay. You know, because mm -hmm. everything is either a lesson or a blessing. And usually, if you look at it right, it's both. Mm -hmm. But you got to eliminate all fear mm -hmm. from your life. You know, mm -hmm. if you got God in your life, you can't be scared of anything mm -hmm. or nothing. You just look at going in there. And because mm -hmm. a lot of times you can't find out if you don't go in. Yeah. If you don't go in, you yeah. can't find out. And God is like so fly and cool. And he really wants you to have what you want to have. But the thing mm -hmm. is, here's mm -hmm. the thing. You must set your intention. Come on. Because the universe ain't doing judgment or guessing. And everything mm -hmm. you say is a prayer. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. That's why you want to yes, be careful sir. what you say to people and about people because mm -hmm. the prayer still goes out anyway. Mm -hmm. And the universe doesn't do judgment. The universe responds to your vibration. Right. So whatever you're vibrating is what the yes. universe will bring you. So that's why you really want to know how heavy a, a negative thought is. Yes. If you just know how heavy a negative thought is, you never even have one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, you're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Come on. I don't have bad days. You know, some people say, oh, everybody have bad days. Sometimes, yeah. Not no, me, I don't have no right. bad days. <laughs> now, some days things don't work out exactly as I want them to, mm -hmm. but that still doesn't make the day bad. The day was great because God still let me live through it and survive it and learn mm -hmm. from it and thrive from it and continue to thank him and celebrate him because he let me live through mm -hmm. it and learn from mm -hmm. it and thrive from it. So I don't have no fucking bad days. Some right. days don't work out like I want to, but at the end of the day, I sleep very well. I'm in love with a goddess who loves me so much that it humbles mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm again, I could quit everything I'm doing to be with her. Mm. Awesome. Everything I could, I could just fucking wait tables at her restaurant and be Aww. fucking thrilled and tickle pink, you know, yeah, because because yeah. she's just mm -hmm. she's yeah. everything. Okay, yeah. so we have a book. Mm -hmm. uh, I've I've written four books, but this is my latest. latest. It's a mm -hmm. children's okay. book called Little Bobby White, mm -hmm. and uh, I call it Little Bobby White, but I make sure the kids yeah. are black. Yeah. Anyway, because uh, it's not about yeah. the color, it's about the children, mm -hmm. and it's about the lesson. And so yeah. this this story is about a kid who always wins because he always chooses to do the right mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we're not teaching a lesson to our kids about being good for goodness' sake anymore. Right. We're mm -hmm. not teaching them shit. We give them a device and we sit them in a the corner, and then four years later, we don't understand why they get drugs Come on. in the house and guns, and why they fucking the brother next door, and and why right. they uh, 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 can't show up for school and can't learn shit and want to cuss everybody out. And whoever's telling these kids that wearing your pants off your ass is cool, they a motherfucking lie. They lying Man. to you. They tricking you. You a sucker. That, that shit Man. looks stupid as fuck. And y'all don't even have no cute draws. Man. I can almost <laughs> see it. If you had some Louis Vuitton draws or some shit, raggedy ass, bloomer, baggy ass bullshit. Dusty, oh you know what? I'm going to start uh, wear the belt initiative. Hey man, please start. You being in politics, you'll right. understand this. What all I'm gonna right, do yeah. is, please start. I'm gonna buy up all the belts. I'm yeah. gonna go to the thrift stores <laughs> yeah, and I'm right, buy all right, the belts, right. 25 cent, 50 cent, right? Yeah. I'm gonna drape them over my arm uh -oh. and I'm gonna get a nine millimeter. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk through the neighborhood. <laughs> if your pants hanging off your ass, I'm gonna offer you a belt. If uh -oh. you say yes, I'm going to give you one right on. If not, pow, pow, two shots in the forehead. If I take out about four, five motherfucking shit, shoot them in the ass. Damn right. Right, right, right. right. After a couple shots in the ass, shit, brother, right, right, right. they build up to their nipples. You know what I'm talking about? No, but it's, it's just terrible because we don't teach our children anymore, you know? Uh -huh. And you can look at people and tell whether they had parents. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. You can look at people and say, oh, that motherfucker ain't had no parents. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they don't, people don't say yes, sir, or no, sir, or yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am. And I'm still saying it to my elders. I was trying to buy 
uh, a lunch for the elder today. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that her husband was with her. I didn't want to buy no damn two. No, I'm just joking. I didn't mind buying two. A rich bitch. Anyway, uh, so so I, I bought the meal and then later come to find out he's the bishop. Yeah. And she walked over because the bishop wanted to meet me and pray with me, you know. Yeah. But you don't ever know what you're giving. But see, life is, all. first of all, it's about karma. What goes around comes around. But when you elevate yourself, it stops being about karma and it becomes about spiral. Mm. So it's not about just going in a circle, but as you go in that circle, mm. you should rise up. Spin you should it lift on. and lift yeah. and lift. Mm. And you should learn and unfold into your greater self and, and get to a level of things that you don't even think about lower shit. You don't think about shit. You don't think about shit like lack, mm. like what you can't have. Mm. Cause that's not true anyway. It's a motherfucking lie. If you yep. have God, you can have everything. 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 Yeah. And you can have it when you want it. But how much do you believe? You know, if you believe enough, you can walk on water. That's about that type of time the truck driver gave Jesus Christ a lift in his 18 wheeler. Uh -huh. mm -mm. This true story. Uh -huh. This true story. Okay, well, first of all, the truck driver gave the guy a lift. He didn't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. How the fuck are you gonna know that? Yeah, he right. thought it was a hippie, a homeless uh -huh, fellow. Uh -huh. Guy standing alongside the road. He got a a, a blanket like for a, a robe. It's tied up right. with a rope. You know, he got on sandals, long uh -huh. hair. Mm. He figured a homeless dude. Right. So he gave him a lift. They driving. So he, he offered Jesus a cheeseburger. Jesus said, yeah, I'll take cheeseburger. Okay. And I uh, said, look, I got two Coca-Colas, can't drink but one. Right. He said, man, Jesus said, man, go on, give me that Coca-Cola. So when they got through eating, truck driver said, man, why don't you pop up with that glove part? Mm -hmm. so Jesus pop up with the glove part. Big old blunt in there with a lighter. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So truck driver said, man, go on, fat it up. Jesus like, no, now nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> truck driver like, man, sign the thing up. You know, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Don't want to be inhospitable. Right. right. Okay. So, so he, right. he liked the blunt, right? <laughs> Man, hit it, huh? Yeah, for a minute. Blew it out. He turns to the truck driver. He said, you know, I should probably tell you. I'm Jesus Christ. Truck driver said, good shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. <laughs> well, it's more to keep working towards un uh, unfolding into our greatest uh -huh. life. To keep going layer after layer and getting better and better and finding more and more uh, light in our yeah. soul and sharing it as we yeah. go. We ain't supposed to hoard it and keep mm -hmm. it for ourselves. Yeah. As we go, we have to lift other people and help other people yeah. every place we go. Listen. You shouldn't go a week without helping three, four, five people. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You see people like, hit on the ground and you're going to drive by in your nice ass car. Mm -hmm. Give them $3. Right. It don't mean shit to you, but yeah. $3 to someone who's homeless? Yes. Dude, that's a miracle. Yes, and then is. some people want the judgment. You know, mm -hmm. oh, he's just going to smoke it. He's mm -hmm. going to drink it. That ain't none of your motherfucking business. Your, job to your business is to find your brother that needs you yeah. and to serve him. Yeah. You know, and you never know who you're serving. Mm -hmm. You never know, know how you're going to change their life. Yeah. Right. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. And so I try yeah. to always help people. And I think that's why God's helped me a lot. Like I say, we don't even have the rest of the money for this show. This show is going down in 34 yeah. days. It'll be done. Oh, that money's I ain't it's worth yeah. a buck. I'm right. just, right. I'm, I'm more tickled mm -hmm. than anything. I'm more challenged. I'm watching people who mm -hmm. claim to be my friends. Who You, you can literally hear their buttocks. Slam shut. Oh, ah! Sound like somebody shot a pistol. When you ask a favor, you know. And it's weird because... It's my people. It's funny. We were talking about we that earlier. It's my people because yep. white yep. folks want to do something. They put it out there. Man. Motherfucker, sure. Yep. Fucking Trump could fuck a midget. Get arrested. <laughs> Not a and man. they'll raise $3 million for him <laughs> on right, fucking right, right. Uh, GoFundMe right, in two right, days. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Black people go to black people and say, hey, man, help you out, man. Why don't you do your own shit? Why you always ask for people? Yeah. I ain't asked for no handout. I am asking yeah. for a hand. And right. people are jumping in and helping. Yeah. I want to thank Bob Johnson from BET yeah. who jumped in. Uh, Ice Cube who jumped in. Yeah. Tashina Arnold. Mm. Even like, Ali Sadiq dropped a right. thousand on us. Yolanda Adam dropped money. Affleck. You know, and we doing everything to get this money. Yeah. Like, I got two co-hosts. Fabulous titties. So they gonna get all soapy <laughs> on the weekend and yeah, put yeah. a whole weekend soaked yeah. up washing people's cars. Yeah. All mm -hmm. that money is going to this show. We got four little girls selling Girl Scout cookies. We right. doing whatever the fuck we need to do, yeah. but we're gonna get yeah. this money. Yeah. May 17th, yeah. we're gonna Well, you can count on the Antonio Coast. Parkinson project to support yeah. too. We support, yeah. man. We oh, we support. Yeah. 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 We support. We're gonna go yeah. and look. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say that. Let me tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people have said that and now won't even answer the phone. Right. I can't even tell you right. how many how many stars have yeah. said it yeah. and then call me and then I call them and they don't even answer the phone. Uh, yeah. Or call me back. Well, you yeah. been friends yeah. my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. One star friend the other day 
I said, brother, by the way, uh, you know, think about this, whether you're going to help or not. He lied twice mm -hmm. and said, hey, man, I'm going to help you two, two times when I went out to do mm -hmm. this. Right. Ain't, of course, he ain't show up. This time I said, bro, just remember, somebody just took care of you. Somebody helped mm -hmm. you yeah. get your special. What you mean by that? Right. My yeah. friends don't come at me like that. Come at you? Bruh. Like what? I'm trying to remind you yeah. that someone helped you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you want to pass on and help somebody else. I don't know who your friends are, how they talk to you, but yeah. apparently I'm not one. Right. Because I didn't see it. You're offended. But some some of the people, they act like they mad just so they don't have so, to go. Right, I right. I pissed them off. No, right. I was going to. Yeah, right. you know, right. If you was going to, you would have. But that goes yeah, okay. back to what we were talking about. You know, mm -hmm. five reasons, you know, black people mess up black business. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's support. One is we breed, yeah. we breed distrust amongst each Come other. Come on, it's already been bred. You know, because we don't, yeah. well, it's, it's yeah. already been bred, but yeah. a lot of us have broken that. Yes, sir. We broke it at mm -hmm. the people that I hang with. We yeah. ain't doing none of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. we ain't doing late. Right. I don't yeah. do that shit. Right. You, know, you tell me to be somewhere yeah. on five minutes before that. Yes, sir. If you show up on time, you late. Yeah. If you if you late, you might as well not come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and the motherfuckers are beating us because they get there on time. Come on, man. They have a piece Ooh, of video that I run on my morning show. Oh, I didn't even mention my morning show. Yeah, you didn't oh, mention yeah. the morning show. We have the Michael that. Kaya morning show. Everybody, please subscribe. Michael Kaya morning show on YouTube. I've only done 796 yeah. shows, so I understand yeah. if y'all haven't heard about it. I, I, so, We'll have the link in the description. Seven ninety seven. So the link will be in yes. the description. Seven, matter of fact, today was today seven ninety seven. Today was seven ninety seven. Yeah. 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 On a morning show, mm -hmm. I played different pieces of tape to move me or teach me or heal me I, or tickle me. And mm -hmm. so this one, they had this one piece called "This Is Why We Lose," mm -hmm. and they got this little black kid, and he's not tall as this table, <laughs> so I would say seven. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. He's got a microphone hanging from the air, so these are adults working with him. Right. But all you see is the kid, and uh -huh. you're the music like, fuck that bitch, I really fuck that bitch, fuck, I fuck, I really fuck, fuck right. that bitch. That's all he's saying. Yeah. On and on for like 20 seconds. Yeah. And then the video moves over to a little Asian kid who has a very complicated hand puzzle that's like an abacus, like a, mm -hmm. a, a counting device. Right. And within the same amount of time, he solved that problem. Mm -hmm. And it says, this is why we lose. Because wow. we teaching yeah. our kids to sing about pussy and grab yeah. your dick and shit. Mm. And you're going to make money because everything's about money. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. I just had Carlton White, Charleston White. Charleston White, yeah. Charleston White. I think one of the reasons is mad because he kept calling my fucking Carlton. But yeah. Charleston White <laughs> was on my morning show. He knows it's a family show. You can't right. cuss on that show. Right. He come on the show. He, you know, melted down, called us motherfuckers, told the girl in there, suck his dick and fuck all y'all. Oh, and, and I remember when he first started on his quest mm -hmm. and he had bow ties and nice suits. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But he has come to the conclusion that what the people want mm -hmm. is a cuss motherfucker out, fuck you bitch and that whole mm -hmm. thing. So he's going to move into the same filth Mm -hmm. that enjoys that so he can win but he's not winning mm -hmm. because what he's making people look at is you're a fucking fool that is actually contradicting yourself mm -hmm. you're talking about how bad black people are treating black people and you're gonna stand here and cuss a woman out tell her to suck your dick and any woman ain't laying down with me can't say shit to me what wow. so no, what is your platform right. I don't know what your platform is and what really smashed him is my co-host asked so what is your legacy mm -hmm. he went off what is the legacy he went yeah. around the country cussing motherfuckers out to try to make black people act right? Yeah. The fuck is this legacy? Your guess is good as mine. But, but you know, know, that's what happens in the classroom. When when kids are embarrassed because they can't read, they lash out. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Smart. You, you, he yeah. is smart. That brother is smart. Too smart to be mm. doing what he's doing. Uh -huh. Mm. Uh oh. Well, educated. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say okay. educated. Oh, okay, maybe yeah. educated. I, I said maybe that wrong way. He's an educated person. Because a lot of people have education. They stupid as fuck. There's you know. a lot of educated you know, fools out there. They don't have no smart common, dummy, smart no common dummy. sense. And mm -hmm. a lot of people got common sense and they think they're smarter than they are because mm -hmm. they know a couple of big words to mm -hmm. add to their common sense ness, mm -hmm. you know. But but is there any truth in what he's saying, what Charleston White is saying? You know, I don't for, know. It's yeah, like yeah. Carson. Charleston White is saying a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So some of the things he say, I certainly stand by. Mm -hmm. I like that he said, if I see a crime committed in my community, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell on your ass. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to not snitch. I'm going to punch y'all and say that motherfucker. Right. I ain't mad at that. I like right. that. I like anything he says about how we are turning against each other, yeah. how we're not helping each other. <laughs> so... I like yeah. that. What I don't like is the method. Mm -hmm. I love the message, mm -hmm. but the, the delivery of it is so fucked up. You can't hear it. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's yeah, like yeah, the, it's yeah. like the fool on the corner yeah. with the big sign. Jesus loves you. You going to hell if you don't accept Jesus. Well, I am choosing hell over an eternity in heaven with an ignorant it. motherfucker <laughs> like you. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. be in heaven, walk yeah. around the clouds with a big ass sign. <laughs> right, you right. know, prayer. 
is real. Yeah. Sit your bitch ass down. So, <laughs> so am I going to learn from that guy screaming yeah. at me on the corner? No, he's yeah. gonna turn me yeah. off from it. I'm gonna yeah. say, if, if that's who Christians are, I don't want to be none of that shit. Yeah. There's some brothers out there, very powerful. They're Islamic, Israeli, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Islamic. Yeah. They're not Islamic. What the, are uh, the 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 Israelites? The Israelites. Yeah. They powerful, mm -hmm. all black outfits, yeah. but they frighten me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're yeah. probably saying the right things, but they frighten yeah. me. So what I'm saying is you could have a wonderful message, but if your form of delivery is not correct, mm -hmm. yeah. then the receiver will never hear it. Yeah. The receiver will shut down. Yeah. And so all you doing is blah, 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 because yeah. we can't hear you for all the bullshit. Right. Yeah. That's what, what Charles That's the same thing. It's funny you say that because the same thing we, uh, me, and, me and our guy, Marlo, was having a conversation this uh -huh. morning in the barbershop about uh -huh. these young cats that have been expelled from the Tennessee legislature. You know, uh, Justin, right? Jones like and three Just, guys, Justin Pearson. Well, two guys and a and a woman. Okay, but 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 you know, the, the they're not every the, the, these white folks, these Republicans have turned closed their ears to anything you got to say because of how you're coming at them, right? And yeah. and, and 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 you know, and I understand activism. I started out as an activist, but also, but you, and you have to double it up with Republicans. Because the Republicans are already shutting you down, already because you're black. Right. Already because you're something that's not of trump is Right. And mm -hmm. Trump's little bitch ass is Satan. You right. know, this, <laughs> yeah, right. this motherfucker is Satan. Yeah. He's yeah. the turd that Hitler shit. Damn. And, <laughs> and so right, right. he is trying to keep that energy alive, yep. that yeah. hair yeah. Hitler, yeah. I yeah. am a oh, leader. Yeah. We don't need terms. I'm going to yeah. be in here Absolutely. for life. Yeah. I'm going to follow uh, that asshole in Russia. That's where he's coming from. But these white folks are so happy for the great white hope to come along Man. that they're going along with his bullshit, even yeah. though they know. That is dangerous. That. And if he gets back in office, mm -hmm. oh, your kid's going to war. Yeah. Your kids are oh, going yeah. to be in oh, this yeah. war because war is going down right away. And what's what's crazy about it is Putin just playing it <laughs> like, a, like a fiddle. Putin's yeah. smart as hell, yeah. man. People don't realize it's crafty. But yeah. But Michael Collier. Yes. Okay, y'all gotta go. Yes. Build it. This has been a real pressure. I mean, <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me say this. If, if if you're at all interested in helping us do the show on Venice Beach, please do. We have 14 days left on our crowdfunder, which is called Indiegogo. That's I-N-D-I-E. And then go go. Indie Go Go. But when you go, you have to go to the right name. Michael Cowyer 3.0. Okay. C-O-L-Y-A-R. Michael Cowyer 3.0. Because we did this our third one. We did a Gramathon, mm -hmm. which is like a telethon. Except I did motherfucker on Instagram. Right. And I did three of those. Where's money like that? We got four little girls going to be selling Girl Scout cookies. We doing whatever we need to do. Y'all better yeah. quit playing. Yeah. We're going to get it in. And we're going to have the link in the description. So oh, on, on, on the video yeah. description, we're going to have all of Michael Collier's <laughs> links so you can help Michael Collier. Get air tag. Yeah. And the book is fantastic. Little Bobby White, the story of a kid who always wins because he always chooses to do the right thing. And if you're anywhere around fabulous Memphis, Tennessee. Come mm -hmm. on. You need to come on down to Chuckles. We got yes. five big shows left. Right. Two tonight, two tomorrow, one Sunday. I'm going to be so funny. I wish I was in the audience watching the show me. Right. Is there you go. Good. The MC, there you go. the host, everybody, yeah. the host, everybody is funny from the start it's to the beginning. It's really everybody. funny. And yeah. we held yep. back because there wasn't a crowd last night. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight's going to be bananas. Y'all were wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And that y'all got the jokes and y'all yeah. laughed yeah. out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That was really we good. We got to send a shout out to Katie too, man. Katie, Katie is the bomb. Katie yep, funny yep, yep, AF. Yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but Katie is also my, my co-host yep. on the morning show, her and Straya Black. And what they have in common, they're both hood girls. Right. They smart as shit. Yes, they're indeed. passionate. They're sexy. They're curvaceous. My wife has sanctioned the both of them. Right. So we're okay. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. if my yeah. baby ain't happy, I ain't happy. Michael Carly in the building. Thank you. God bless y'all. Let me tell y'all how to fast. Tammy Sawyer, you're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Powered by Black Market Strategies.